microphone good? Well, it's better than this time. Who's, who's microphone three? Hey, where? Just making sure that you exist. <laughs> Do you exist? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I see the little speck right there. Don't kill your game too much. Good afternoon. Welcome to the new year, everybody. This is uh, Carlos from the Tech Guy, Some Guy podcast. Uh, my name is, again, Carlos. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. Rod. Rod. And Omar. And Omar. Welcome to 2018. Damn it. We made it. Another year. I've seen you fuck since last year. It's, it's, <laughs> there, yeah, Yo, that joke, but I, I expected that joke to come later. But it's true, though. It is very true. Yes. It's been it's been roughly about two and some odd weeks, That's maybe more. Oh. No, we filmed before yeah. Christmas. Yeah. So we're talking about the 18th. It was about a month ago. Yeah. Damn, I missed y'all asses. Not really, but you know. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's been it's been um, an interesting Christmas and New Year's and everything like that. And uh, now that the new year has started, it's time for us to get back to business. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be. I got a feeling this show's gonna be more about tech stuff, just because the big thing that's going on, right? CES. And uh, people are going insane by the looks of it. I, I, just, I like the wall more than anything just because it just sounds cool. So no New Year, you mean? Yeah, Yo, dude, uh, wait, 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 wait. Do you agree with Trump in that wall? Do you disgrace? <laughs> like, no, like, not that way. Did you disgrace. <laughs> I know. No, y'all going ham on me today. I'm too tired, man. You can't be doing this to me. No, if um, uh, when it comes to CES, there's who was the one that announced the wall? Samsung. Trump did. Samsung. Oh, oh. <laughs> technology. Trump, Trump ain't at CES. He doesn't know how to use a TV anymore. Oh, but he's, he's a genius though. though. Yeah. Anyway. My other psychopaths. <laughs> right. So um, the wall is a hundred and fifty what? Eighty four inch. Hundred and eighty four inch TV. Yeah, but it's modular, so it's it's uh con- it's a concept. They probably can make it so. But it's basically a bunch of pieces that make it 184 inches. They can take some of that weight and make it fit in a normal size home. That's insane. But uh, it's, it, you know, this is Samsung. 4K, right? 8K? I think it's 4K. They didn't really get too crazy specs. I'm not, I, I assume it's 4K because I'm not there. Um, I'm getting this, here getting this overtime. Like, eh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it would be a interesting. Lot of swag this year anyway, it's gonna be interesting to, to see how poor it looks on that. Think about that. Well, yeah, that you talking about that? Well, LG got the 8K joint. That'll be interesting. You know, porn's already in 4K. Yeah. Yo, if they start shooting at 8K, you ain't gonna see it. 4K, 60 frames a second, <laughs> super slow motion. 3D or VR? Is oh, there a VR for it? That would be crazy. Uh, VR, AR. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's out there, believe it or not. If I remember right, wait, didn't it? You got the daydream stuff. I was gonna say, I think there's a VR dating app that's out there that you could get on there or something. Yeah, this. Tinder VR, that's crazy. Man. You could, you could, Tinder VR. Yo, we're, we're, you we're, can make that girl spin around like that. I like that. I like to point out that Sword Art Online starts in the year 2022. I'm just putting it out there. We're almost there. Almost if there. If you haven't seen it, damn it. Now uh, here's a question. Go. Demolition Man. What year was that? 2015. Uh, very past. Yeah. It was, I'm pretty sure it was 2015. Let me oh, check. I mentioned that because of the Or was it 2025? Have you seen the latest Taco Bell commercials? No. No. They're shitty? No, they're actually pretty good. And I'm like... Because they're usually they're shitty. They're trying to take over. It's like... They got this new promo where things are a dollar and like highlighting like... It's kind of like a conspiracy. Like the Illuminati. Somebody... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it's, that. Everything. Breakfast for a dollar. Yeah, it's, it's, for a dollar. It's actually... It's a cool... I'm saying like, oh my God, it's amazing. But it's pretty cool. And it's like... Dude, the last time I had... They're really trying to win these food wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but here's the kicker. 2032. Okay. Here's a, here's we have a, time we, for Taco Bell to take over. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. You got to keep this in consideration. Taco Bell... And I eat a lot of exotic foods. And Taco Bell's probably the only... Technically, it's not really, not really Mexican, but whatever. Who knows what it is? It is probably the thing that will fuck me up. Wait, because it is crap. Wait, I gotta ask you a question. I gotta ask you a question. You you mentioning that. When was the last time you had Taco Bell? Thing? Two years ago. Oh, so we probably did. Yeah, it's pretty recent. They've changed some things. Because before, before, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Because before, I was exactly like you. Where I couldn't have Taco Bell, it would make me hit the bathroom all day long. Then it was revealed that they actually had like sand, silica as part of the ingredients or something, and they revamped the recipe. After they revamped it, I could eat Taco Bell without a problem. Shit in the back. I don't do that. Yeah. I, I, it's I, I, like put that you're, food. you're literally pulling mud. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. after that change, I didn't have a problem. So I guess you just have a problem with Taco Bell in general. I mean, and, I haven't been to Taco Bell. I have no desire to run for that dollar menu that they have. Right. And if I remember correctly, I haven't looked at my phone, but if I remember correctly, John Bell is named after its founder, John Bell. 1960s. John Bell. Named after John Bell. That's why it's called Taco Bell. 
it, it, it was a white guy down in the southeast, southwest. Well, yeah, Chipotle. Maybe a white guy in Colorado. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but that guacamole though. I don't even know. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. He about that guac. He about that guac life. Yeah, yeah he, he, guac he, is he, he about that guac life. No. Oh man, you don't know what you're missing, bro. Now the, the, maybe one day you guys can take me to your home country and put me on for the real for real. Well, we don't use guac. We use a lot of avocado. I quiet. Guac. Just <laughs> Hold on, yo, yo. The, 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 we don't even call it avocado. We don't even call it like the Spanish version. We don't call it aguacate. Yeah. We call it palta. Like, yeah, it's a completely different one, but we do cut it into slices, put it on bread, throw a yeah. little salt. We put it on just about everything. Yeah, we, we really do. Technically, we really don't do the whole guacamole thing. We don't mess it no. up. Like, In case anybody's wondering, uh, myself and Omar here are Peruvian. Yeah, despite so, uh, his accusations of my family. Despite my accusations of it's better, it's, it's, clearly it, stated. It's better for him being, he, he skips Peruvian and just goes straight to, I'm indigenous. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I'm like, he's right. He is he's right. right. He's not right. wrong. He's not yeah. wrong. Yeah. Actually, technically, all Latinos are indigenous. There you go. Don't let this. Uh, let me stop. <laughs> I'm not going there. No. Who's going to the World Cup this year? That's all I need to know about my country. I mean, we're not, we might not get too far in. We ain't going to get far. At least the U.S. didn't go, so hey, oh. we the plus, right? Dude, the, the girls are the girls are always no, no, the girls, the guys, guys like, like guys, yeah, come on, we on vacation all year, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no, nah, man, but um, but yeah, so so when it comes to like CES, there's a whole bunch of craziness. I know um, Rod like basically threw up a, a list as much as he can because it's still going on even as we speak. So. Yeah, yeah. So I started off with CES. That's what's the big one? Okay, you got the Samsung 185 feet. TV. <laughs> Might as well be. Might as well be. <laughs> it's this whole it's modular man. system. Man. And here, here's the thing. We were just talking about this. That honestly, unless you have a huge living room, anything over 55 inches needs a specific distance to actually view it correctly. Yeah. So if you live like in an apartment in Brooklyn, that's a little shithole that's two feet from the wall to your couch, you should probably not be buying 65 inch TV. Exactly. You're not be but no enjoying. disrespect to our Brooklyn English. Well, some, some of them are douches, but you know. <laughs> Wow. Damn. But everybody knows. Yo, that. Omar, I you hate, know we're I trying to gain an equal. audience, right? No, but I hate everybody equally. So it's just as long as everybody knows, I hate on everybody, even myself. That is true. So that is, yeah. actually I can't disagree with you. You're it's easier for me to hate everybody, everybody equally than love everybody equally, because there's some people I just cannot love, but I can hate everybody just damn right easy, so damn. It's easier. Yo, for I don't me. know if our demographics is going down or up today. <laughs> you, might, you might have a, a different crew, like you know what I, I agree with that. I agree with we'll find out soon enough. Right, so what are the TVs besides the wall? Uh, LG had an 8K TV just nice. showing off. Like, check out what we could do. What was, um, there, wasn't there a rollable one? LG, again, also. So it was actually 4K. Roll so basically, think of like a thicker fruit roll up yeah. TV. Yeah, stick that That's crazy. Wall. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, you, you, there's one There's one that's already out right now. The one that, that actually sticks to the wall, like with Velcro pads or something yeah. like that. That's what we're talking about. The LG one. Yeah, yeah. the LG okay. one. Okay, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's uh, OLED. Has no ports. Uh, it just has one wire that goes down to the sound bar. The sound bar, the speakers come up, and all the ports are in the rear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one that I'm thinking about. That one, the way to mount it to a wall, there's no hooks or places. Yeah, it's, could, it's basically velcro pads. You can literally use M3 tape and just tape it to the wall. That's insane. That's insane. That's, that's, insane. that's how it is. That, that's insane. insane. I remember the good old days for the CRT uh, TVs that weigh like 80 yeah. pounds. Oh my God. I remember, I remember. You can't, you can't put a CRT in the wall. I say the fucking wall. <laughs> yeah. Nobody I, does a CRT in anything. For real. I, I remember, uh, I remember our friend Mike. He actually had uh, like I think a forty-inch CRT, and when we helped him move, I think we almost died trying to bring it out of the house. I was like, do remember that thing? I was like, yo, I'm never doing. I'm never using this thing again. Oh yeah. I was like, I'm done. I'm getting a flat screen after that. I don't care what size. It's, it's still easier than this thing. Yeah, it was insane. So that was that was probably the big ones. Anything else that you guys really yeah, liked about? Yeah, what else? What else from CES? Um, Google, um, well, Google Pay. They all they did was take uh, Android Pay and Google Wallet and kind of merge it. So we talked about it before how sometimes, well, a lot of times Google just come out with apps and solutions and really just kind of like see what sticks. Yeah, I remember. And this is kind of it looks like they're they, they since like maybe past year or two they're trying to get a handle on all that. And Kind of bring it all together. And this is completely different than Samsung Pay, correct? Yeah. Well, the only difference between Samsung, all the difference between all the different pays is just the branding and how it works. Um, but the great thing about it is that Samsung Pay is probably the best because it has a MFST. Like, basically, you don't need it. The, the, the console that you use, it doesn't need a reader. As long as it's got somewhere to swipe, you can still use Samsung Pay. So Damn. that's where Samsung Pay trumps the other, all the other uh, mobile payment 
advanced solutions. But I mean, they're they're coming around, so everybody kind of has that. But other than that, they're all they're all more or less the same. They okay. All handle it the same. And what are you looking at? Of is that something that you're actually looking forward to if it actually happens this year? No, I don't use any of those mobile payment stuff. I probably should, being a tech guy, but. What do you think about the mobile payment? Conspiracy, payments, conspiracy theorists in me won't allow me to do it. You know what's funny? I kind of got the same problem. I don't. I don't see myself like using them. No. I. I just. I can't. Well, I'm gonna stop you guys right there. Go. Um, because the original conspiracy theory is don't use credit cards or anything with magnetic strip because that's how they fuck up your accounts. And that's yeah. why everybody was big on paying cash. Yeah. So if you're already using a card, you're already fucked. So, no, I know. So like to worry about the phone, you're. It's like. It's a moot point. I it's like a cow. Like but you, you, but you're you're I, I think with cash. the phone. <laughs> I use cash I only. Think, I think the phone yeah, yeah. brings me more to the, um, you know, doomsday plot theories of RFID chips and nah. the market against and all that. You know what? I'm not, I, <laughs> <laughs> but again, I can't believe you brought that up. Like this, bro, that's just in. In. That, 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 I understand that, but that makes that more real, even though I know it's coming. It's like, yeah. Uh, Yo, he posted out Skynet and F- well, RFID with the possible, people. Yeah, west west possible. You, you really Welcome to the show. That was the 18th edition. That's right. Nothing has changed, damn it. We still rant way off left field. Yeah. I'm trying to keep us on CES, and you guys are like, yeah, yo, CES, the apocalypse. CES, son. CES is electronics. The Skynet rant, is electronics. Yeah, the rant is within <laughs> the same schism. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, it's, oh it's, in the, it's in the same yeah. room. Yeah. yeah. Two bedroom rooms like Didn't the size of Omaha. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, a perfect a example. Big Sony, was it Sony or Samsung came out with that? Digital dog. I mean, that's Skynet right there. Yeah, that, that in was a sense, yeah. Skynet right that there. Uh, I thought they came out with a newer version of the ship too. Actually, I'm like, oh, no camera. They came out with a dog. Yeah, I could have kept that. That's, yeah, for, that's, that's for the extension. Oh, that's okay. extension. Yeah. Like, I'm literally looking. I'm like, why is there a plug in my table? Okay, <laughs> like, sorry, random. So, um, yeah. So, I, I guess, uh, yeah, we're doomed. I don't know. <laughs> like you guys, but, got, but, I'm, I'm blank right that's, now. That's, that's just something to breeze about. But the the one I really want to talk about is the Google Smart Display. So basically, are you guys aware of... Is that that picture frame looking thing with yeah. the speaker? So... I saw that. So basically, no, are you guys aware of the Amazon Echo Show? Yes. Google's... This is Google's... Yeah. Answer to ...take it. on it. But the thing is, instead of doing it themselves like they did with all the home products and different things, they outsource. So the first version of coming out was working with Lenovo. Sony's coming out with one that looks weird. It looks like a egg or something. Or an oval. Some rock. And then, um... So... No, no. There's another. There's a third company I can't think of. Um, but basically, other companies are going to be making it, so it's going to be able to just, kind of just do everything Google Home can do. But now you have imagery, and it's touch screen. Hmm. So I thought we have to wait to I/O for this. I'm thinking, no, I was another thing we we're going to talking about because I think Samsung also announced something else about that. But um, about about this one, right? It did not affect that. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, I said I/O, right? Yes. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> CS, probably CS. I was, I was talking. About, I was thinking about the Germany one. Oh, good. Uh, 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 MWC. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's to be confused with NWA. That's wow. If I get that confused, that's really wrong. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't even think a nap's gonna help right now. No, no, not nap. I mean, they are. Uh, I have, no, I'm not gonna get these off this nah. year. Not happening. But um, the, what when it comes to that, honestly, I like it. I want to. Get my hands on it to be honest with you because that actually looks kind of interesting. The, but the, but go ahead. before you go, I think why look. that over the Amazon Echo Show though? For me, yeah, you're, you're already in the, the Amazon ecosystem, so I thought it, I'd imagine it would be a little easier for you. The problem that I have with the Amazon ecosystem is they are blatantly not trying to incorporate the best technology out there. Gotcha. Like, here, here's a perfect example Fire and Fires. thank you, the Fire oh. Stick. See the fire Stack stick, <laughs> right? The fire stick is is good for what it is, but they blatantly designed it to try to to hurt Google. It's blatant. You, you you can't have a YouTube app there, at least not natively. Well, that's Google saying "f you." You can't have it. And YouTube is not available on the Echo Show and on either. Exactly, either. and and me me honestly, my main source. I don't have cable television. I'm all off the grid. I'm all oh, internet. Cord. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I cut the cord. I'm like, and you're I, recording on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am all. I all my all my entertainment. I get off of um, 
uh, Prime Video, Netflix, and YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And because of that, I need my YouTube. I I I rather go with Google so I can have YouTube than go through Amazon because of that. It's just it's just a little minor annoyance for me, yeah. but it's enough for me to may say. This is where my money's going to. Now, when it comes to the two-day shipping and everything like no, that. No, no, I mean, you ain't killing them off completely. Yeah. That's why I just don't want your product. That's yeah, like, I just don't want your product in that aspect. Give me your services, keep your product. Right. Uh, <laughs> on another note, Jeff Bezos uh, is, now the, is now the richest man in the world. Yep. He, he, he broke $105 billion. Damn. <laughs> like, damn. That, that was kind of mind-blowing for me. Um, yeah, so there was that one. Um, oh. What? The smart display. This is an interesting fact. I'm like, why doesn't anybody else do it? They have a switch to turn the, the camera off. What? Because you know you can do webcam. You can do video yeah. chat. And it switch to like turn it off. I'm like, hmm. what? Like an actual hard cover? Yeah, it's like a hard switch. Oh, okay. I'm like, a switch or a cover? I guess, I think it's a switch that. It's probably a switch like the old cameras where you push. The I think it's a switch on top that covers it. I haven't seen it. Right. Well, yeah, but nobody. It has, does that. So that's if amazing. it's a cover, that's good. Because if it's just a switch that... Yeah, we don't know that, if it's on or off. Exactly. Right. That's like, no, I think, I, I think you're trying to make me feel bad about myself. Like, right. You're trying to give me a reach around, but you ain't really right. touching it. No, I think... <laughs> it's just like, hey, <laughs> you can't reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it's it's yeah, an actual yeah, yeah. mechanical switch that right, mechanically cool. puts a cover and over it. And that I accept. Anything less than that. <laughs> You'll accept that. I'll accept that. There you go. Okay. Perfect. I can't get a reach around. I can't get a reach around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah. you're new me, right? So, new, no, so that's you exactly the same. Nothing's really yeah, changed. Yeah, okay. I just have a newer mantra. My mantra's good. Whose is? Mine. What's yours? Dream more, fear less. Put oh, is that the Nike commercial? This it sounds like a commercial. It does sound like a commercial. You know? Uh, the, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, hold on. What? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What? <laughs> I'm, Cody's going on Xbox One. It's already there. Get the hell out of here. So I was watching Justice League uh, before the year started. Whoa. So you don't need, you don't need to hack your Xbox One? You just... Well, you do need to. The uh, only thing you need to do is download the um, database, the databases for the to get those. those um, I forget what you call it. The, uh, whatever. You uh, just need to download them. You just have to have the address. For the, you can just YouTube it and pull it up. Huh. Actually, Because without it, it's just a regular media player. Like, uh, where's it's just something else. <laughs> you know what? It's yeah. an alpha, so it's not like. Did the did DJI make that announcement at CES? Yes. Here's the perfect segue. Then. The gimbals. DJI released a set of gimbals for smartphones, and mirrorless cameras. Correct. Yeah. How about a good segue? Yeah. Here's the segue. Oh no no no! Right below the DJI one. What? Can we talk about DJI first? Yes, yeah, that's why. That's the segue. Look, I'm one to the next up. one. I'm not talking it about the first one. That's why I'm like, let's talk yeah, about this, which will let us segue into that. I guess. I don't know. There's no right. guessing. It's true. We're going to start with the DJI gimbal. So the DJI <laughs> Mobile 2 was announced, and it is cheaper than the original. Right. I don't think and I've ever better. heard. And I don't it's think I've ever better. Heard more actually, like, has 15, 15, 15 minutes, uh, 15 hours runtime. 15 hour battery life. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And now I can do uh, vertical mode if you yep. want to do like Snapchat or whatever stupid live stream where your phone has to be vertical. I forget how much it is. I'm Yo, Omar. <laughs> Omar He's still doing it. I think this is the first time you've actually done like a full announcement as to what the. Th that was right. interesting. Uh, and, you know, it's. it's yeah, yeah, giving you a announcer nice voice. In the world. In the world. <laughs> um, so I mean, yeah, oh, it's already, whoa, 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 whoa! It's already for sale, right? It's already on sale, so it's already uh, out. Pre, uh, the the Osmo Mobile's uh, pre-order. Yeah, like it's one twenty nine. It's you. cheaper than the original one, better than the original one, one, which is kind of ass backwards. So why are you gonna release a product that's better? It's costing less. I think they learn from you know learn from the stuff because they. It's kind of because nobody's really gonna buy it now. Nobody's well, gonna buy the original anymore. No, see, they I, want yeah, but they want people to buy the second one though. Yeah. See, no, the the problem with the problem with. with with a because uh, uh, those gimbals is nothing more than a, than a glorified cell phone accessory. Yeah. So the problem with that is the price of those accessories was like, might as well buy another phone. That's why they're actually marking the prices down there. Yeah, too, this is to this make cost. More <coughs> this cost one twenty nine. Yeah, I would actually. I think the other one was like three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. Like, I'm like, and then the thing is honestly, and that's a very very niche market because very few people. I don't care how many pictures you see on their websites. Very few people film with their phones. That's like the last resort. And because they forgot their camera or, or their battery ran out, so they'll take their phone out. 
In which case, you don't carry your Osmo Mobile with you because you have your camera equipment. So with like, you. right. You know, I mean, so that's somebody who's definitely always gonna be. That's somebody who shoots with the phone, and that's it. I, that's okay. what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. That's so a phone got, shooter, primarily, yeah. and then secondary is a camera. Not which I think, around. I think for me, like I think, because you guys know I've been always talking about like, yo, I really need to just start filming myself. And if yeah, you just killed any free time. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Uh, <laughs> you do shit. Now I work like seven days a week. Now I work like seven days a week, 365, oh. the whole nine, man. Bro, if he sounds a little delirious, you just got your answer. Why? Where's all that gel in his fucking hair, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a goddamn sperm oil just fucking right on top of your head. and just. Sound <laughs> about stare. Mary, brother. Sound about Mary. Um, yeah, it's been a very weird. I finally cut it, if you guys haven't noticed. I noticed it. I, I finally cut it. Why? Huh? Why? I was bored. You said you weren't going to cut, you were going to let it grow. Like, Until like my wife got mad at me. Until my wife got mad at me. She started dropping suggestions a couple Wasn't weeks ago. Wasn't she the one who told you to let it grow? Yeah. Wait, 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 she kept it going. He was like, I ain't stopping until I can like, grow. You said grow. You <laughs> said grow. I, I was like, I took my ass Dude, back. you know what it was? When my hair dries out, it just gets really poofy. Oh. So I could like, walk around like that. It just looks like a little like jello mold walking around. I was like, it's time for it to get cut. So so I need I need to keep it in style. But yeah, um, I am working way too hard now. I'm working like... Seven days a week, 365, no days off. But um, on a positive side, it looks like um, I'm making a crap ton of money, which is always a good thing. Uh, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> um, on another good thing, um, it looks like this year starting off right. It's not official yet, but it's like pretty much guaranteed. Um, my first uh, magazine publication is actually going to be coming out very soon, nice. which is awesome. It's going to be my first editorial. Nice. Um, well, actually, my first official editorial because I have published before, but this is like in a pretty big magazine. Nice. So that's going to be a good one. I uh, can't announce it until it's all come out and everything like that. And it's going to segue us into the other part of the DJI uh, announcement. Perfect. That they have the DJI Ronin S, which is a single user, single hand gimbal. Which comes well. Basically, it's addressing the market because they came out with like you know the dual handle gimbal that you need like uh, the easy the yeah. yeah. So this one is for the market that they miss. They're missing out, and they know they're missing out yep. because everybody else from like Xeon to Juan to every June and Asian name the possible name <laughs> like that has a goddamn gimbal is out there. And I'm not even being racist. Oh my God, that's racist. That I is mean, not. If you go on every... It sounds like seven, it is, it but is if not. you look for it, it's it like... It is not. No, this every is Every you can imagine out there has a gimbal system for whatever price you can imagine. So, to address that, they're coming out with their own. This actually has almost... It has a unique design, which another uh, two other companies have it, where it's a slanted arm. So it's not in the way of your LCD. It's not a word in the LCD in case your LCD doesn't no, pop out. I don't out. know why would you make a gimbal for your camera and you can't see the fucking screen. Yeah, and then it comes with the thumb controller, so certain cameras who have proprietary lenses, they can actually do zooms in and out with it. Um, you yep. can charge your, your device from it. It has two mounts, at the uh, quarter mounts at the side of it, so you can mount like a monitor or your phone so you can preview other stuff or have a microphone connected to it. So, I mean, it's, it's, that's, that's, that's the, the question mark. That, that, the the question mark yeah, that is a question mark. That's a good point, Carlos, because... They have now. It's definitely gonna be under a thousand. But here's the thing, though. There's Moza has a better one. I can has a better one. Uh, one of those Junes or whatever has probably a better one that will handle up to five pounds or less for under five hundred bucks oh. or around five hundred six hundred bucks. It's funny you mentioned. So, so that's can. your threshold. Like, don't go. You can't too go. Crazy don't go there. too crazy. Uh, I was gonna say, like, like you actually mentioned one company that was actually you mentioned. I was gonna bring up. I can. Yeah. I can is a is like a budget photography thermography company. Not even you can't even call them budget anymore because they got no. some high end products. Did you see? Did you see? Did you see I've, I've been using them, their products lately, the newer stuff. The sliders, the camera sliders. Well, I mean, their sliders are still something to be desired. Oh, but yeah, there's a couple that for, I like. for the price point, it's still decent. The LEDs are definitely got a lot better, especially their their big Fresnel LEDs. Their their monitors are. A, a step and, up, and you know, but just a step below the small HD. You see, and, and that's the problem. You're, you're, you're talking about a, a product that they're we're thinking is going to hit a thousand dollars when it, the competitors are like half. Dude, they have literally a $299 five inch uh, LED monitor that has throughput so you can connect. Uh, How much is it? Uh, three, 299. 299, yes. Oh, three, uh, DSLR. Uh, it is it. nice. Yeah. It is a beautiful throwing. And then they have a three inch one, which is actually 249, so you're better off just getting a five inch one. 
It's nice because it's sunscreen. It's rich. You can put LUTs in it. It has every scope you need. So they, I can't really come a long way since then. But yeah, I mean, so they have to play a price point between. They can't go over seven hundred or eight hundred bucks because then people are gonna be like, dude, yeah, like, they gotta be competitive. Like cheaper. That's what it is. Over. They gotta be competitive. Like you can't, you can't try to sell me a product and say this is a thousand dollar product. When I could easily do a quick Google search and find other products with similar with, with similar quality for half. Yeah, because the th there's that there's that uh, cinema cinema company that does a lot of gear and lenses, not my lenses, map boxes, handles, rigs called Tilta, and they came out with their gimbal, the Tilta G something or whatever. It's priced almost at a thousand dollars. It's not selling well at all. I wonder why. It's not. <laughs> well, it's, it's happier because Tilta, I give them credit. They make these hard products that you can you can they're built like tanks you know they're, you can throw them around a little bit and they're not going to get damaged so they make you know reliable strong products and that's how they made this gimbal so it's a little bit on the heavier side but at the same time at a thousand dollars you can get ones that do slightly more because even the the crane too which has a thumb control already built in so for canon cameras you can actually control the focus and the zoom if you wanted to for like under like some under eight hundred bucks, so or seven fifty, whatever it is right now, a pie on sale, got those now. Exactly. So you can't, you have to play that market because what's going to happen, and this is going to segue into a much better topic. You're going to go the way of the GoPro. You just said this topic sucks. <laughs> no, I said your segue. Sucks. Yeah. Your, your no, I set it up perfectly for you. Go ahead. So now we're going to segue the market going the way well, of the GoPro subtle, because as we announced subtle, today, yeah, that's why I didn't work. As it's been announced this week, GoPro is no longer in the drone business. Yes. For a lot of reasons, their one attempt failed miserably. I gotta step up, sir. Okay. Stop. Their one their one attempt failed miserably. On top of that, their second attempt at their first attempt failed even the same. Oh, second attempt. Is so attempt. like they're like they're done, and we we've, we've been discussing this for a while. We've been talking about the demise of GoPro off camera and on camera because they've just like Canon at one point they were the it camera the it action cam mm -hmm. um, at one point they could have probably bought the DJI yep. and integrated their great camera image on their on their sensors into the DJI cameras and kept expanding and becoming bigger they didn't they didn't diversify the market they stayed and by the time they tried to diversify it was too late yep. they only concentrated on their small action cams and like you had the GoPro four and the four black and the uh, and then you had the five and the five and the five session five and you're session. like, all right, now you're just you're going the way of Apple. You're making way too many options instead of making one great product and getting something else. Again, they announced it. Their drone they've laid out like three hundred plus people, and now they're up for sale. Yeah, or they're looking up for, for sale. Them, which is crazy. Cause Correct. And you know what's crazy? As much as I thought the Karma was probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. With GoPro's reputation, I would actually have liked them to see if they could you know, improve. improve, but I guess, and I it, guess it's a bad timing to do that and everything else. And, but the, here's the thing that there was the biggest failure. They tried to make the Karma two products in one. That too. One, one, they didn't come with the camera, so you had to buy either the GoPro yes. 4, 5, yeah, or, or it 6. Basically, it basically came with all these accessories. But, but the camera. So you had to buy a camera, and you could have bought the accessory for 4 or whatever if you wanted to. Okay. On top of that, the the actual body part is actually was also actually a gimbal. Yeah. That you can take out and use as a regular gimbal, single hand user gimbal. And on top of that, you slide that into the body, and it became the gimbal for the drone. And then you had the drone to fly anything. So they tried to. They tried too much at once. There was this is what the, their first attempt. They should have stayed with a camera body single or already attached to it or even made it to where you can attach your four or your GoPro four or five or six to it and that was it. That was that should have been their especially for their first attempt, that should have been their gone. But it did not go, it did not happen. So so that's that's where they, they fell short and they're gonna keep falling short. Or at least sell it as a separate product instead of making it just one bundle and then you still Oh that's not mine. I don't know. So and what the hell is this? Uh GoPros, the demise how they tried too much on one they're and gone. Uh, they're gone. Yeah, wow. and, they got, and then we were talking about this too. DJI, heads up, this would be the time to buy GoPro because then you could take their sensors and put them on your guys. See, see this is the thing. And this is the thing. thing that GoPro, their, their main propriety was always the hero. When they started to expand and yeah. try to say, listen, we're going to do this and this and this, that's when they messed up. Now, they actually lost a huge market. Yeah, Basically, huge. They had to lay off a lot of people. Yeah, they lost money. They, they lost product because they were going up against a superior competitor. Yeah. 
it's, it was literally trying to like get a heavyweight against a lightweight. They were, once, they were once valued at three billion dollars, and now they're under a billion dollar before. Yeah, they it's a crazy. They went public so, uh, four years. Ago. Four years yeah, so no, the, the way their stocks dropped, it's it's a disaster in the making. Yeah, yeah. And it's so, not helping right now. They're right. Not. So for DJI not to pursue GoPro is will be a mistake on DJI's part. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Now on another thing. We've been predicting like crazy the fact that GoPro was going to be on its way out. Yeah. yeah. So can we honestly say right here, right now, that um, our next prediction is that DJI is going to try to take over GoPro? I, I would say that would be the smart it move. It would be a smart that move. That would be the smartest thing they do. They might go all, you know, high snot, high snot, 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 buy. High snot, buy. I'm thinking of a website. Yeah. Being snot or whatever. Yeah. You just be like, no, F you. Yeah. Because yeah. you never know. Uh, I don't know, man. They, a GoPro may have tried to buy DJI once upon a time behind the scenes. And it could have been like stuff that's that, not public it? information. There is. Well, remember, like, remember the famous blockbuster trying to buy on Netflix? Yeah, it might be one of those things, but but not really public. Where it's like, oh. Yeah, but we're gonna find out in a couple of years and be like, that was the biggest mistake of your life. You guys yeah. are idiots. Yeah. It's gonna come out. It's, it's gonna oh, when it comes out, it's gonna be like one of those great business stories. Yeah, comes because out. at least DJI has done its thing where it's cornered its market and it's mm -hmm. become the big dog. I mean, there's so many drone companies around now, but it's still DJI that runs it. Yeah. And yeah. They are still the player. Yeah. And they're everything. They set the if, bar for If I remember everything. right, I think the market share that DJI has is like something like 80%, oh, yeah. which is an insane number. That high. Yeah. It's something ridiculous. Because the, the Utech one, the oh, Utech, unique? yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. That, for, for what they're... Their drones do at their price point, they're it's way too high. Yeah, I mean, think of it like this. Think way about them. High. Think about Parrot was the other one. Yeah. Um, Parrot's like yeah, but, beginner, like yeah. give this to your kid. Because you're See, not. Parrot is the company. They're like, listen, we're not even gonna try to step in your ring. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep it down here where our, our customers can't afford you. Yeah, yeah. but I, I got a feeling Parrot so is, like, is that twenty yeah. percent. You know what I mean? Well, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah really it's, think not, it's not gonna be unique. No, yeah. it's not gonna be unique. They and then who else? That's it. There's probably another company about Yeah, but yeah, those, those uh, Chinese uh, clone ripoffs that's over. No, there. I mean like a yeah, real but those, yeah, like a real company. Yeah, yeah no, that's like, like, I mean, there's a thousand like honestly for every product in the photography world, some photography world, you can find a Chinese knockoff company within ten minutes of typing in whatever you want. Right. So and then I mean some of them are actually believe it or not are almost identical without the actual stamping of the original product. Oh, yeah. like, I would almost be like, if we had a stamp right here of this pro of this company, it'd be the product. With the exception yeah. that it's not. Nah, let it be. Yeah. Quick, I got a quick question. Um, because I still don't know what the hell you're talking about this meltdown hack. I, I wanted to ask you about that. Meltdown hack. I don't know. Um, what? We can skip it because I didn't have time to research it. I'm not oh, he don't know either. Anybody yeah. else? Dude. Nope, I have no idea. All right, so then going on to somebody else who got who, who's in a dump right now. AT and T pulls out of Yahweh deal. That was the dumbest thing. That, that yeah, business wise, that's stupid. Yeah, that's Remember when we were talking about uh, Huawei and, and like how when we got their phones and we were like, "Yo, these are actually pretty damn good." I see. Well, like wait, why do you see why? Politically, why? Why go, go politically? Go. The spyware thing. Man, the hell. possibility. But nobody's worried about China right now. Yeah. yeah. Number two. Look, look. Every, every, every. This is going back to the whole privacy situation. No. Any company, any company that has that has any. Any kind of technology out there that's going to give it out to the masses is always going to be subject to privacy. No, mm -hmm. So Huawei coming out with that one and now they're going to worry about privacy? That's, that just doesn't make sense. I think we're already screwed for the part that every new Intel chip is hackable. Yeah. So like There's the no privacy problem. shit is oh, like, you guys, you done fucked up already. That's, so. that's the milk up. That's so another like, one, you know. Like okay, now every, Omar, every nice, nice, chip, nice plus I said way there. Every master, learn this game. Anyway, anyway. No, no, so that's the, that's the thing though. Every new modern chip. Intel or maybe E and AMD chips, they're all hackable. So your information can there's get no, back to exactly. So it's like, all no, right. So why are you worrying? That's the thing. It's, it's like, listen, man. It's too late now. Like they're they're politically, not, not because of that, but the fact that... Politically, business-wise, I think it's dumb. No, I don't agree with yeah. it, but I, I, again, I see why. They're like, oh, well, we won't be affiliated with well, that's company that I like their phones. Their phones are dope. No, I know. I was looking forward to, well, I mean, to, to messing with it. They're now. okay affiliated with a company that slows down their product. Come on. Quote, unquote. So quote. No, it's not even a quote because they already admitted to it. Yeah. So, like, you can't be, like, you know, see if one person is going to fuck people over and then worry about the other person is going to fuck. Like, if you're going to be, you know. Like, we're smarter and wiser now. We're not going to be. No, yeah, no, no, I've, heard that, I've heard that before. Never happened. I've heard Never that happened. before. Uh, so, Huawei is going to be forced to, uh, I mean, they're still coming. They're, they're going to be on Amazon, Best Buy, uh, just Uwe, Microsoft, and then they're going to be like 800 bucks on uh, it's a flagship, so it's not like exactly. That. It's not going to be a win. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but they have the honor, the honor phones, which are getting kind of crazy. Too. 
now here, here's the question Black Widow the movie is that really official yeah it's they, a, have it's a movie. The, they have a, uh, they got somebody they hired somebody for a script I'm like who's the somebody anybody good I don't know so see like, that's the thing you haven't got a director yet why you got but I think you know what it is it's kind of late though in the universe to come up with that movie now isn't it it's, well especially since she's like from the first phase yeah yeah she had her shit. Yeah, she had her shit. This is the thing. Her and Hawkeye. Kevin Feige fought tooth and nail to try to make this happen. I remember hearing a long that. time ago. And then Wonder Woman comes yeah. out, and Feige's like, "You no, see, no, it could no. be done." Before that, this is back before they were Marvel Studios, when it uh-huh. was Marvel, and, and he had to answer to Pearl Mutter or whatever. Yeah, he was like, "Nobody wants to watch one uh, thing." <clears throat> Then the re- yeah, that's wild. Then the reconfiguration happens. Then they become Marvel Studios. Then Wonder Woman happens, and then he's like, "Bro, you talking? You had your chance." Some of the biggest TV shows, Alias. Uh, what's the one with just a guy with Dark Angel? Or Dark Angel. Yeah. Dark Angel. Holy Buffy. crap, dude! Yeah. Some of those biggest. Yeah, those, Buffy. Those are big that was, shows. That was, that was actually James Cameron. Females. Yeah. Come those, on. Uh, the Sky Alba was probably her finest work. Uh, yeah. Don't say that. I, 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 we can say her, her work in Idle Hands was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was one of her best. Uh, that was honey, was, that's that's honey, honey, though. She did great work on Honey. Stop. <laughs> Stop right now. That's Yo, Omar, seriously, there's <laughs> very few times I ever wanted to hit the leap button. That was that moment. Really? That was the fact that you busted that movie out of all movies. That was your Iron Fist for the day? Yeah, <laughs> that was my Iron Fist. Go cool. forward, that's Honey is a new Iron Fist for 2018. Yeah, it spawned what, like eight or seven streets? Dude, there's like, oh my like god, some straight, other straight to DVD. Yeah, I, like, I actually so saw Iron Fist 2 on Netflix. Bring it, bring it. Oh my there. god, I actually saw it. I was like, it's there. Screw it. Oh man, it's, it was weird. Oh wait, there's one thing we didn't touch on on on, on the uh, what? CES. What? But, GH5. Yes. Yeah, well, oh, that's you. You that's, guys that, are all over the place. That's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 there so is no more to this. It's pure insanity. Panasonic's one of its flagship cameras, the GH5. Once I saw that S, I'm like, the, what is They that? came out with the S in the chest because it means hope, right? <laughs> so they were hoping people will give up the old one <laughs> for the new one. one. But that might not work so well because it has, I mean, it's, it's very video oriented, but. 4K, um, 6K, or 8K? Still 4K. It's still 4K. You can't do 6K. And the GH. Uh, the regular GH5, uh, you can do 6K anamorphic uh, with right. a specific setting. This one, you can only do 4K anamorphic. So, oh. like, it's a step down. The sensor megapixels are smaller, but that allows yeah. it to have ten, okay, so ten, more ten dynamic range or more low light. Yeah, but, but, but on For a full a frame, it's a. It's yeah. no. But it doesn't do no, 422. Two, two, no, it's micro four thirds. It's, it's micro four thirds. Both of them. Uh, it's yeah. like, and then it's like, what, 2500? 2500. It's exactly. like, I'm just going to buy an A7S. You, they, they took that's out what yeah. it's like, so it's yeah. like, so it honestly, really. Remember, we were mm-hmm. talking about, I think maybe maybe about a year back, we were talking about like how uh, cameras have to be competitive amongst each other. Mm-hmm. It would come, coming to the price point, that price point kills itself because if I had to look at the specs between those two, I jump on the Sony. Yeah. Why, why would I even do that? And here, here's the other I mean, honestly, now it has uh, 240 frames per second, but Sony's been doing that for decades, so that's like, all right. Mm-hmm. The other thing is that they just came out with the Evil One. And this kind of kicks the evil one in the balls a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a li- just Wait a minute, hold up. You're wearing the hat to evil one. What? Yo. Wait. <laughs> Good luck. That's right. Thank you, Pat. He's like, yo, they suck, hat. but Appreciate I will gladly you. support you for free, damn it. I didn't say they suck, but they're kicking themselves in the balls because now they're going to. Yo, they sell. suck, but their balls are sore. The balls, <laughs> what he just said. The balls are really that sore. Is- because here's the point the, the evil one is $7,500 just for the, the, the body package to start shooting. The GH5S is 25. They're losing five grand. And people say, well, you know what? This could do the same thing that this one can for five grand less. And I can buy more accessories for five grand. And it's yeah, small. And know. it's small. So they kind of literally, they, they mean, they literally kick themselves in the balls by making this version, honestly. Um, so that's heads up to them. They should have probably not came up. I mean, I, I know people were begging and asking. They should have said, you know what, we'll do the yeah. updates on the six. Yeah, that's what they need to let it be. See, honestly, man, everybody's just... trying to follow uh, the the Sony platform. Yeah. Yeah. Sony, Sony, let Sony be Sony. You right. worry about you. Uh, honestly, that's exactly yeah. what they should have done. They, they should just focus on them. Not too long ago, came out like maybe less than a year ago. So it's like, yeah, so like it wasn't even six months ago. Probably it was about six months. Like it's too short. Too even Sony don't do that. I mean, they do, but then they they change it and they give you like something else. I remember you wait. You went to you went to that. Didn't you go to that conference when they released it? 
No, 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 I didn't go to it. No. Well, that's the display. The, the they had it. They had it on display before they even released it. Uh, the the body held. We can't yeah, get that's it what the CEO did. I think. Yeah. Right? Okay. But uh, it was it was all right. So the that, that so right. that's how they kick themselves in the balls. I think I think that they yeah. this is a miss for them. Meh. A huge miss. I'm like uh, meh. <laughs> like, yeah, because I saw some people who was like, yeah, I saw the GH5S and I just picked up. A65. Yeah. Yes. That's so, like keeping it moving. Yeah. Um, so keeping it moving. You know, that's that's the end for the CES thing. Oh, the Black uh, Widow stuff. I feel like we kind of just broke. Yeah, we kind of. You know what? Black Widow. Honestly, it, it, it sounds like now they're trying to catch up with Wonder Woman. But the problem with that, but they got Captain Marvel coming. So that's the like, problem. The problem is, is that they they were always saying that yeah, we're gonna have a female lead in a movie, and they kept on pushing it back. Then Wonder Woman comes up, and now they're like, we're serious this time. It really felt like that. Yeah, it does. It, it really does. I don't know if. I'm not against seeing a Black Widow movie, but I'm like, did they do a good enough job? No, this is the problem. Yeah, her character is really weak. In this the is what they're gonna do with Black Widow movie. This is what they're gonna do. They're not gonna make it solely about her. They're literally gonna put a Spider-Man Homecoming. They're gonna have Black Widow and Hulk. Yeah, it's Here literally the, gonna be something. But I would like that. that. I, I, I wouldn't is, mind. That. I'm actually kind of. No, but the thing is that I, I I've learned more about Hawkeye and all the Avengers movies than I have a Black Black Widow. So I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm more invested in seeing his story now at this point than than hers. Oh, he's on the run now. Yeah, but yeah. like I'm saying, I'm more interested in his story yeah, than hers. That, that's why I'm like, like they haven't built be, her up enough. I agree. I think it's and gonna she's be, been around yeah. since Iron Man Two, which exactly. makes it worse. Yeah, yeah that's she's true. been like a cameo in everybody else's film, which is so it's like, yo, I yo, should, but you know what? That cameo has gotten Scarlett Johansson paid. Oh yeah, I mean, yes. yo, hope, speaking of pay, did you guys hear about that Marky Mark and Michelle Williams thing? Yes. Uh, for all the money in the world, all the money in the world. All the money in the world. You know how I had to reshoot it because your boy Kevin Spacey became a big perv. <laughs> yeah, okay. So everybody in the crew supposedly took like almost no pay for it. Like Michelle Williams, who was the lead, decided to do like for eighty dollars a day because she was happy enough to take almost no money for it because she was going to be in this. No, not because she, the movie had already finished right. filming, but because she loved the fact that they were trying to fix the Kevin Spacey thing. Oh, yeah. okay. She was doing it because the studios were willing. To remove him, and she thought that was a great match, which like it was. So, 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 you're saying that that she charged an eighty dollar a day fee? Yes, because she was, she was, no. she was. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get to she was okay with the idea of I'll take that chump change because you guys are doing the right thing by taking space okay. out of the film. Yep. And then she was for. So even directors, cinematographers, everybody took like oh, a chump change. Right. Toku. Marky Mark got a million dollars for all those things. Yep. And she's the lead. Marky Mark is like a. Yeah, he's like a tertiary, yeah. like third That's character stupid. or something. Dude, the uproar right now, he has not said I have not even seen anything. That. Goes to show you, people from Boston, you guys are disappointing me real quick right now. Your boy, Mark, your boy Marky Mark, yo, the, yo, your boy like Ben Affleck, your boy Ben Affleck, you know, and your boy, what's Affleck's boyfriend? Damon. Damon. And his, and his brother Casey. Yo, he Boston, yo, Massachusetts, <laughs> you're going to clean this shit up. Yo, I think we're going to have to Patriots are not going to save you anymore because these guys are sinking oh, shit for you. Oh, about to come to the Giants. <laughs> yo, that's going to be awesome for the record. <laughs> Boom. Anyways. Drop the mic. No, but that's, that's some shit. So that's, that's what I was throwing out there. Now we're talking about the Black Widow you stuff. Got, you guys are idiots, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Are you going to talk about Black Panther or Call of Day? No, yeah, let's talk about Black Panther. So we're ending on a high note. Um, this is the power of the brown dollar, which I spoke of. Black Panther sold out their pre sale. And they yeah. crashed the system too, right? Yeah, yeah. they crashed the system. They're outselling everything. They outsell every MCU uh, film ever in existence. Yes. But. All, all ten wait, hold up. There's no but. 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 This is, no, no, but look at that cast though, honestly. For people who want to see great actors and, doing an action. You know what? You know Civil what? War. Yeah. Look at but, Civil War's cast. But hold up, hold up. You gotta make a good point. Look at Civil War's cast. Which was fucking Avengers. Look up Black Panther's cast, and I guarantee if you do the numbers of all the stars. Black Panther still, all the stars got paid less. I all guarantee them. you, guarantee you, got paid shit ton less you, you, than the Avengers can. Wait, not, not, and specifically what? for two reasons. One, the females, because they're females, they're gonna, and two, because it's a lot of minority Quick question. Cats, Quick question. Exception, yeah, maybe, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick question. Is it? Maybe a cat uh, can. Two great, great actors, by is the way, it, though. Is it, no, no, of course, of course. Two great actors, but the director, Fuqua, right? No, no. Uh, Ryan. Ryan Coogler. Yeah, from the Rocky movie. It's the homie right there. From Fruitvale Fruitvale Station. Fruitvale. Yeah. He's direct. He's directed see, Black look, Panther. Honestly, yeah. I'm actually more interested in that. I want to see you him. You don't get to see the director movie. You only see the cast. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> You're stupid. You're stupid as hell. No, no, no. 
the fact that that they gave him a budget like that. Oh, dude. Because, well, yeah, because this because uh, because uh, Creed is oh probably my, the biggest thing. He did and even that was prior. still a budget. Bruno was actually my favorite. Yeah, but, but no, 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 his budget. budget wise, so, yeah. so, so, so the now Marvel they gave black him. Card, like, yeah, yeah, they gave him the Marvel black card. The American like, Express black for the black man director. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And oh my and god! FYI, it's called the American Express. You guys are. Yeah, you. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. They changed it? No, no it's, it's always been, it's called, always been called the Centurion. It's always been called the Centurion. It's one of the racist people who called it black. <laughs> it's metal, right? It's all black. I've never well, seen it's it. All black. I don't use a million dollars a year on credit, so like, I don't think I'm ever going to even have the money because I wouldn't waste that much. Yeah, it, it gets really crazy. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a metal? Card? It's twice as thick as a credit. Yeah, it's thicker. It's, it's always black. It's always been black instead of, oh, we use Centurion card, black card. Exactly. Because it's black. So yes, so it's coming out. Damn it, I'm excited, and uh, yeah, we're the, going to see it, folks. I think we're all going to try to. I mean, a couple, a couple weeks later, because it's already sold out, so we have to wait our turn. Yeah, I looked at, I looked at Vinay. I even looked at uh, Chicago. We're so going to see it. It's we'll find it. Front row. Like, fuck, nah, 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 nah. We'll yeah, find it. Don't worry. Definitely going to go support that. So, so we're looking forward to that. Oh, um, they also revealed that um, Killmonger spent some time in the military. Oh. oh, so he was probably like a general for them. So. No, not a general. He was like kind of like uh, what like Punisher and Jigsaw was doing. Mm. Oh. Okay, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Gotcha. Don't say nothing. I want to nice. say nothing. So now I'm like, oh, so, that, so in case you're wondering, like, I guess Michael B. Jordan couldn't pull off African accent. Or maybe he couldn't, but they went to the story. Right. I, I want to. I want to see what. The, but Michael B. Jordan as a villain is always going to be good. It just. It just sounds so interesting for me. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spoil yeah. my question. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. This is spoil. This is a theory. I wonder if he's going to instead of him being like the story of him being out, him and Sam being outcasted. Is he the bastard son? I got to think he's going to be. I think he's the bastard son. I think he's more of a bastard son. Yeah. Just, just hold off on that. Though. It's going to be just, just stupid. <laughs> all Dude, saying that. That's racist. <laughs> and on that racist note. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm going to end it on a positive note. You're the one that brought it down. We were good. <laughs> we want to cover it. Yeah, we covered it. Right? Right? Unless you want to talk about Logan Paul. No, 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 Damn. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad though. It was. <laughs> it was. I'm not going to disagree. It's alright. It's alright. Right. 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 We'll right. work on it. Alright, all right. guys. That's it. Let's call it a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to the Tech Guy Some Guy Podcast. My name is Carlos, alongside with Rob and Omar. Guys, we'll talk to you later. Peace. Peace.